Let my prayer be set forth in thy sight as the incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent. According to thy promises, declare unto mankind, in Christ Jesus our Lord, and grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, a mandate of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The portion of the Psalter appointed for the evening of the 31st day. It begins with Psalm 147, found on page 522 of the Book of Common Prayer. O oh, praise the Lord, for it is a good thing to sing praises unto our God. Yea, a joyful and pleasant thing it is to be thankful. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem, and gather together the outcasts of Israel. He healeth those that are broken in heart, and giveth medicine to heal their sickness. He telleth the number of the stars, and calleth them all by their names. Great is our Lord, and great is his power. Yea, and his wisdom is infinite. The Lord setteth up the meek, and bringeth the ungodly down to the ground. O sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving, sing praises upon the harp unto our God, who covereth the heaven with clouds, and prepareth rain for the earth, and maketh the grass to grow upon the mountains, and herb for the use of men, who giveth fodder unto the cattle, and feedeth the young ravens that call upon him. He hath no pleasure in the strength of an horse, neither delighteth he in any man's legs. But the Lord's delight is in them that fear him, and put their trust in his mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem, praise thy God, O Sion. For he hath made fast the bars of thy gates, and hath blessed thy children within thee. He maketh peace in thy borders, and filleth thee with the flour of wheat. He sendeth forth his commandment upon earth, and his word runneth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool, and scattereth the hoar-frost like ashes. He casteth forth his ice like morsels, who is able to abide his frost. He sendeth out his word, and melteth them. He bloweth with his wind, and the waters flow. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and ordinances unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, neither have the heathen knowledge of his laws. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights. Praise him, all ye angels of his, praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon, praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, all ye heavens, and ye waters that are above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he spake the word, and they were made. He commanded, and they were created. He hath made them fast for ever and ever. He hath given them a law which shall not be broken. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons and all deeps. 
fire and hail, snow and vapors, wind and storm fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowls, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the world, young men and maidens, old men and children, praise the name of the Lord, for his name only is excellent, and his praise above heaven and earth. He shall exalt the horn of his people. All his saints shall praise him, even the children of Israel, even the people that serveth him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sing unto the Lord a new song. Let the congregation of saints praise him. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him, and let the children of Sion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with tabret and harp. For the Lord hath pleasure in his people, and helpeth the meek hearted. Let the saints be joyful with glory. Let them rejoice in their beds. Let the praises of God be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hands, to be avenged to the nations, and to rebuke the peoples, to bind their kings in chains, and their nobles with links of iron to execute judgments upon them, as it is written, such honor have all his saints. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him in his noble acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him in the sound of the trumpet. Praise him upon the lute and harp. Praise him in the timbrels and dances. Praise him upon the strings and pipe. Praise him upon the well-tuned cymbals. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here begin to the ninth chapter of the first book of Samuel. Now there was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish, the son of Abiel, the son of Zeror, the son of Becherath, the son of Aphia, a Benjamite, a mighty man of power. And he had a son whose name was Saul, a choice young man and a goodly. And there was not among the children of Israel a goodlier person than he. From his shoulders and upward he was higher than any of the people. And the asses of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. And Kish said to Saul his son, Take now one of the servants with thee, and arise, go, seek the asses. And he passed through Mount Ephraim, and passed through the land of Cilicia, but they found them not. Then they passed through the land of Shalom, and there they were not. And he passed through the land of the Benjamites, but they found them not. And when they were come to the land of Zuf, Saul said to his servant that was with him, Come and let us return, lest my father leave caring for the asses, and take thought for us. And he said unto him, Behold now, there is in this city a man of God, and he is an honorable man, and all that he saith cometh surely to pass. Now let us go thither, peradventure, he can show us our way that we should go. Then said Saul to his servant, But behold, if we go, what shall we bring the man? For the bread is spent in our vessels, and there is not a present to bring the man of God. What have we? And the servant answered Saul again, and said, Behold, I have here at hand the fourth part of a shekel of silver, that I, will I give to the man of God, to tell us our way. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, thus he spake, Come, and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. Then said Saul to his servant, Well said, Come, let us go. So they went unto the city where the man of God was. And as they went up the hill to the city, they found young maidens going out to draw water, and said unto them, Is the seer here? And they answered them, and said, He is. Behold, he is before you. Make haste now, for he came today to the city, for there is a sacrifice of the people today in the high place. And as soon as ye be come into the city, ye shall straightway find him, before he go up to the high place to eat. For the people will not eat until he come, because he doth bless the sacrifice and afterwards they eat that be bidden. Now therefore get you up, for about this time ye shall find him. 
And they went up into the city. And when they were come into the city, behold, Samuel came out against them for to go up to the high place. Now the Lord had told Samuel in his ear a day before Saul came, saying, Tomorrow about this time I will send thee a man out of the land of Benjamin, and thou shalt anoint him to be captain over my people Israel, that he may save my people out of the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked upon my people, because their cry is come upon me. And when Samuel saw Saul, the Lord said unto him, Behold the man whom I spake to thee of, this man shall reign over my people. Then Saul drew near to Samuel in the gate, and said, Tell me, I pray thee, where is the seer's house is? And Samuel answered Saul, and said, I am the seer. Go up before me unto the high place, for ye shall eat with me today, and tomorrow I will let thee go, and I will tell thee all that is in thine heart. And as for thine asses, that were lost three days ago, set not thy mind on them, for they are found. And on whom is all the desire of Israel? Is it not on thee, and on thy father's house? And Saul answered and said, Am not I a Benjamite of the smallest of the tribes of Israel, and my family the least of all the families of the tribe of Benjamin? Wherefore then speakest thou so to me? And Samuel took Saul and his servant, and brought them into the parlor, and made them sit in the chiefest place among them that were bidden, which were about thirty persons. And Samuel said unto the cook, Bring the portion which I gave thee, of which I said unto thee, Set it by thee. And the cook took up the shoulder, that what, and that which was upon it, and set it before Saul. And Samuel said, Behold that which is left, set it before thee, and eat. For unto this time hath it been kept from thee, since I said, I have invited the people. So Saul did eat with Samuel that day. And when they were come down from the high place into the city, Samuel communed with Saul upon the top of the house. He read it the first lesson. The Magnificat on page 26. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here begin at the 18th verse of the first chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took upon him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. He read at the second lesson. The Duke Demidus on page 28. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, 
and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Call for Trinity Sunday. Almighty and everlasting God, who has given unto us thy servant's grace, by the confession of a true faith, to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity, and in the power of the divine majesty to worship the unity. We beseech thee that thou wouldest keep us steadfast in this faith, and evermore defend us from all adversities, who livest and reignest, one God, world without end. Amen. A God for Peace on page 31. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the marriage of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, Give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost, be all honoring glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace this time of one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and has promised that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen.